Hey guys, I'm going to make this really quick. Um, this is uh, the second episode of Claw School. I intended on finishing all, you know, uploading more, but I didn't have the chance to, like, edit them or anything. I have most of the clips done, like, filmed and everything, but I don't have them all put together for videos. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing it, like, clip by clip. Um, this one's how to win uh, human-shaped figures almost every time. Not quite every time, you know, but almost every time. And, um, hope you guys like it. Yeah, I'm talking quiet, because, you know, I'm not in my new house yet, and it's about 11.30 at night. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, again with Claw School. Uh, these two guys are common shapes for characters. Uh, well, plush. Um, they're, they're like human shapes. Uh, you know, it's just like they, they're shaped like that because they have arms that are strong, like they're, you know, fit, like, kind of stuffed, you know, they're not like really weak and flimsy, um, and the reason that's a good thing is because there's a grab that I, I and many other claw players use that, um, will normally get it every single time if you get it right, um, the way I got this Mr. Bill is the same way, um, so I call it the seat belt, uh, seat belt grab. The reason is because it goes around like a seat belt, like that. The claw drops right here, and one goes here, and one will go like here, or here, and another one goes here. So it has to go diagonal, like diagonal across them from either way. Because if it gets them from both ways, think about it, if you got them like that, you're going to get them. It's guaranteed. Um, maybe not with a set payout, but possibly. Um, that's how I've gotten most of my characters that are shaped like that. That guy, too. Um, kind of creepy. Hotel Transylvania. Again, they're both from Sugarloaf. Uh, well, it doesn't say that one. Sugar. I got him out of a Sugarloaf machine, but, um, yeah, this guy is. I think I showed it. But, um, that's how you grab those guys. It's just, you can't grab them by the feet. If you grab them by the feet, it'll, it won't pick him up. It, if you're lucky, it might clamp him, like, right here. But that's if you're lucky. I mean, if it goes around, it's just going to slip out, guaranteed. Grab him by the head, it's going to slip out, guaranteed. There's, it's That is like a guaranteed win. Like 99% of the time, you will win that way. Um, yeah. Another thing is that... Um, I'm trying to... The, when you grab him by the feet, if you, if you have to, like say he's... The glass is like right here. No. Yeah, the glass is right here, and he's like that, but you can't get over the head. You know, you might be able to, like, pull him over, like, right here, you know. So don't ever go for the feet unless you have to move him. Like, don't try to pick him up by the feet. Just try to move him if you have to. That's my best advice for stuff like those, you know, guys like those. Um, my next video will be on circular objects such as spiky balls or even angry birds.